One of the most devastating things that can be seen in medicine is a stroke. Losing a life is one thing, but really being stuck in that in-between space where you're completely dependent on your family and loved ones. To lose your personhood. So being able to prevent stroke from happening and trying to understand those that have disease of a blood vessel that can carry off that disease process into the brain, something called a carotid uh, plaque, if you will, it's what drives me. So the coolest of that kind of Catherine is looking at a mechanism that's totally different than what's been considered previously. And if she's right and she can understand why a stroke happens and therefore develop therapies, her research could end up preventing strokes in millions of people around the world. The big overarching problem is saying that we don't know which plaques that build up in the blood vessels of the neck, the carotid arteries, we don't know which ones are going to cause a stroke and which ones aren't. So that being the start point was saying, listen, we talk about all the, the cells that form the plaques, the ones that you may have heard the term macrophage, the ones that, the foam cells, the bad, mucky, intra-plaque environment, but what we don't spend a lot of time on are the endothelial cells, the cells again that are lining that whole plaque environment and controlling that interface between the blood and the cells below. Trying to understand which patient to take to the operating room where the actual risk is stroke is a big deal. When I heard the Catherine won the Wiley, I just could not have been more proud. We're the only division in Canada that ever had one Wiley Scholar, let alone three. I'm Wiley number three, and Catherine is Wiley number 23. When I saw the email come in, I just, my jaw dropped, and I physically picked up my laptop, took it over to one of my other mentors, plunked it in front of him and said, you have to read this, and he said, what? I think waiting for some bad news, and when he read it, his eyes popped out too, and he said, you're kidding, and then we high-fived. I can't think of anybody um, who's more, more deserving than her. Her character is unbelievable, her work ethic is bar none, and she really brings unique qualities of being an outstanding clinician, but then taking a clinical question back to the cellular level and understanding the mechanisms of disease and how we maybe influence that. In Catherine, I saw this unique combination of outstanding surgeon. I also saw the pedigree of research training. She'd done a PhD in immunology, but most importantly, I saw the passion for being an academic surgeon. She was very clear from the outset. I want to operate and do the tough cases, but I also want to simultaneously do research. It's not just being a clinician here, it's the clinician plus, and I saw the fire in Catherine. When I was in neurosurgery, the plan had always been to be in cerebrovascular. Not everybody knows this, but I lost my dad to brain trauma and it changed everything. It made me realize that I wasn't in a space where I could still function the way I wanted to be, to be a great surgeon, to be able to help patients and their families with really tough decisions without bias, because I now had that. And it took a long time to get to what I'm distilling out today, but in the end I realized I needed to make a switch. When you take these non-linear paths, as long as you're following your passion, you're being true to yourself and understanding that life creates moments of change and sometimes these transformations are for the best. They make us better people, better doctors, better scientists. I consider myself very lucky and privileged to be able to uh, work with Catherine and learn from her. She's a woman in science and a woman in surgery, which is so rare. It's really nice to have that because then you can really see yourself and you know that there are other people who are leading that change or carving that path for you. The horizon is unlimited for Catherine. Catherine can be a world leader in vascular surgery. This Wiley Award is absolutely going to have an impact and it's going to impact my ability to get this research not just off the ground but to launch it further so that I've got somewhere that I can be looking toward in 10 years. Without the investment now, I have no hope of being there. Having something like this help me lay that foundation and launch me is absolutely critical. It's a turning point.